Living organisms are unique. They can extract energy from their environment and use it for movement, growth, development, and reproduction. All living organisms or their cells extract energy from their environment. And the cells use this energy to synthesize and assemble the components from which the cells are made. But how life came, or more correctly, how life came to Earth? Is origin of life a result of a supernatural event which is beyond the powers of physics, chemistry, and other science? Is life particularly simple forms spontaneously and readily arises from non-living matter in a period of time? Is life co-eternal with matter or has no beginning? Is life arrived on Earth at the time of Earth's origin or shortly thereafter? If life is a result of any of this, then what is consciousness? Is life arose on the early Earth by a series of progressive chemical reaction? Such reactions may have been likely or may have required one or more highly improbable chemical events. The most complex unsolved question like how universe created the origin of life. This film is based on deep understanding about origin of life. My request is please see it before episodes for a better understanding and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more scientific video. In any living matter, there is enzyme-mediated chemical reaction called metabolism. Metabolism is the ability to extract energy from your surroundings and use it to keep yourself alive which is required for growth and maintenance of cells and for that all living organ needs food so to find origin of life we should understand origin of food because origin of food is more important than to the origin of life if life is a self-maintaining, self-producing, and mutable molecular system that derives energy from the environment, then food is certainly required for life. Basically, animals including human depends on plant and other animal for food because no animal can create their own food. They depend upon plants directly or indirectly. And how plants make their food? By photosynthesis by sun, water and mineral which are non-organic material. Similarly, if a living cell first created by any simple form or in a form of a genetic material, then also he should have that ability to process metabolism. But metabolic cycles were not like life. They are fundamental to life. But how metabolism process started? In deep sea vent. A flow of hot water streaming out of a volcano. The water was rich in volcanic gases like ammonia and held 
traces of minerals from the volcano's part. When the water flowed over the rocks, chemical reactions began to take place. In particular, metals from the water helped simple organic compounds to fuse into larger ones. This is a process in which one chemical had converted into a series of other chemicals till eventually the original chemical was recreated. In the process, the entire system took energy which was used to restart the cycle and to start doing other things. All the other things that make up modern organisms like DNA, cells and brain came later. These were built on the back of these chemical cycles which became core of every living thing. But metabolic cycles were not like life, but that was fundamental to life. In the early 1980s, American biochemist Thomas Cech and Canadian-American molecular biologist Sidney Altman has discovered that certain RNA molecules have catalytic properties. Catalyst In chemistry, any substance that increases the rate of a reaction without itself being consumed Enzymes are naturally occurring catalysts which is responsible for many essential biochemical reactions. And this gave the suggestion of early role of RNA in origin of life or RNA world hypothesis. It told the first living substance which is our ancestor is RNA that could copy itself without help from other molecules. But how that first RNA is created? Just like how the primordial atom created before Big Bang. Some scientists suggest that the first RNAs were formed using free-floating nucleotides that emerged in a primordial soup of molecules. They bonded together to make strands of RNA that weren't stable and degraded quickly. But some were more stable than others which grew faster than they broke down. Over millions of years, these RNAs multiplied and evolved to create an array of RNA machines that are the basis of life as we know it today. But the supporters of the RNA world had a big problem. They could not make nucleotides, which is the building blocks of RNA. Rather than, they imagined that it could have happened on the early Earth. Is it true that the life is started from metabolism or RNA world? Pierre Luigi Luisi, Professor Roma Tre University, in Rome, Italy. Luisi asked an interesting question. How could it possibly to set up a working metabolism or a self-replicating RNA, each of which replies on having a lot of chemicals in one place? Unless there was a container to keep all the molecules in. And this gave a new theory, that lipid world theory. It told 
Any fatty or oily substance will form blobs or films in water. These chemicals are collectively known as lipids. And the idea was that they had formed the first life has been called the lipid world. But just forming blobs is not enough. The blobs need to be stable. They need to be able to divide to form daughter blobs. And they need at least some control over what travels in and out of them. Without the elaborate proteins that modern cells use to achieve these things, again in this origin, it is a cell with an outer wall, but no genes inside it, so it cannot do anything much. It might be able to divide into daughter cells, but it could not pass on any information about itself to its offspring. It could only start evolving and becoming more complex if it contains some genes. If you accept this, this is only one way life could have begun. Somehow, in the heat and tempest of the early earth, a few raw materials must have assembled into crude cells or protocells. The challenge is to make this happen in a lab, to create a simple living cell. But the challenge was to make the protocells out of just the right stuff. Despite trying many substances over the decades, Luisi have never made anything lifelike enough to be convincing. Is life insisted by nature or fundamental law of physics? American theoretical biologist Jeffrey Witkin pointed out that life does work under probably arose as a metabolic system that was stabilized by the genetic code, which allowed lives to work under second law of thermodynamic favored process to continue to infinite. The view of life originating as a network of simple chemical reactions will require a lot of testing before it is adopted by the scientific community. The theory of non-equilibrium statistical mechanics According to the second law of thermodynamic, the universe run from lower entropy to a more probable state higher entropy. This is the reason the universe is made up of randomly moving and vibrating atoms and molecules, and all the star galaxy exist and also the time is existing. Probably, entropy gave us the answer how the universe created and why we experience time as running past to present to future. But in case of origin of life, we cannot put the same law, because in origin of life case, the cell or ultimate ancestor most likely be endothermic because it releases energy. The net change in entropy would therefore be negative and the change not spontaneous. Let us understand more briefly. Every physical and chemical process wants to go in equilibrium because they want to go from higher energy to lower energy stage better stability. But living process is constant effort not to go equilibrium, rather than maintaining steady process. Because if a living body achieve equilibrium stage, then that is dead. And for that, or to maintain the steady stage, living organ need energy. And energy is collected by the body by metabolic reaction. 
there are so many difference in living and non-living substance, then how a non-organic substance first transferred to organic matter and became our ultimate ancestor against the most powerful law of nature? Did life on earth came from outer space? The Pansmeria hypothesis persists that earth life might have arrived rather than originated here. Scientists are piecing together the evidence and are showing increasing interest in the composition of comets. Rosetta Rosetta is a space probe or comet chaser built by the European Space Agency which was launched on 2nd of March 2004. And it was the first spacecraft to fly alongside a comet which head was towards the inner solar system. Rosetta was the first spacecraft to orbit a comet's nucleus and gave lot of information regarding comet. Scientists found that comets contain complex organic compound molecules that are rich in carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. The interesting thing is, these are the elements which make up nucleic acids and amino acids, which is the essential ingredients for life as we know it. Did life on Earth begin with the help of comet seeding? Life in the form of biological cells may not begin in comet, but there is now direct evidence that some of the so-called chemical building blocks of life, that is organic molecules, can be found in comets. How we know? molecules can be seen using techniques such as spectroscopy in which light from the comet is split into rainbow of colors and analyzed for the dark lines that the molecules create. Another technique called mass spectrometry with instruments on both Rosetta Orbiter and Lander to provide accurate details of the comet's chemical composition. And this was found in Comet Halley. So some scientists believe that, far from inhibiting life, comets may have played a leading role in creating it. Comets colliding with the early Earth may have seeded our world with the chemicals necessary for life to begin, as delivered water to create the planet's oceans. It even discovered the amino acid glycine in comet tail, which is commonly found in proteins and phosphorus, which is a key component of DNA and cell membranes. Meteorites An analysis of the meteorites has revealed that these rocks can be induced under high pressures and temperatures to emit nitrogen-containing ammonia, a vital ingredient for the first self-replicating molecules that eventually led to DNA, the molecule at the heart of all life. The strongest evidence to support a cosmic origin of life and panspermia is the mind-boggling complexity of life. But, parallelly, we think, can organic compounds found on Earth survive the harsh space environment? How would these organics have formed in space in the first place? And even if these organics could survive in space, would they be able to withstand entry through Earth's atmosphere?